Okay, hello there, people. This is um, the video to show you what's coming off um, the rectifiers again. This time, I've taken uh, some comments to hand and have disconnected one of the th three rectifiers from the cap and led it into its own to get more. I would have done it with each of the three rectifiers, but I only have two 2200 microfarad 73 volt caps. I need to get another. So, two go into this one and one goes into this one. And they both eventually climb to the same voltage, which is the same as the secondary battery. But I'd just like to show you what's here. Okay. Sit you there looking at the multimeter if I can. So, uh, right. Okay, so there's the meter, and it's currently registering in. It's set to 200U on DC amps. It's okay, so a UA. Right, and my pot's set to no resistance at the minute. So I'll see if I can get. That. So um, my pot's currently set to no resistance at all, and I'm measuring um, what's coming out of the caps and through the two diodes into the secondary battery. Okay, so I've got no resistance, and I'll tweak it and put some in. We get more going in. You see, if I tweak it, try and get to where I estimate that the sweet spot is before it starts to stop itself. See? It kind of jumps. There's a, a point where I can find some there. And then, but as soon as I take a pass look and start slowing the motor down, it forces a lot more in. So I'll let it speed back up again. No resistance. Start pulling the resistance in until it start struggling and making that funny noise. Increase is slowing down. But you can see it's definitely putting more in. So no resistance again. And it's only putting this is on the smallest the setting that I can measure amperage as well. But slow it down starts pushing more in. No resistance and it goes back down. I don't know what this means precisely. But that's not a lot of amps coming out of the caps. So although it's interesting it does indicate that um bigger generators need to be made or perhaps another one of the tape motors so that's just me holding the diode to the probe um, but another tape motor and if I'm getting 3 volts off them then maybe I'll get 6 volts with 2 and if I had 3, 9 volts but I can try uh, building coils as well and I have a theory that I'll just reconnect this the theory that's surrounding this whole thing here it's a big electromagnetic field of course there is loads of spinning magnets and that's how this is working that's how the coil works so I reckon if I just build a lot of coils to stick around it, then it will be its own alternator or generator at the same time. You know, and I can just steal all the induced power that's not been taken on these degrees of the, the stator. So, 
as well as doing that I've noticed that for generating you know on windmill generators and stuff it seems to be better to have the magnets north south north south north south instead of monopole you know all face north all out or south all out and I've also been wondering whether me having six monopole magnets on here is the reason for me consuming an average of it depends how much is in the primary but consuming an average of about 450 milliamps when I've seen other people's consume only you know, 200 milliamps so maybe if I take this down to four magnets that will go down and then if that is the case then I can might be able to get the same speed out of it I'm not sure we'll have to see but I can then put other magnets back in in the uh, in the south position to then get better generation of course they won't trigger or they shouldn't trigger I'm not sure well they will trigger on here actually yeah, that's right but from what we've heard it's not as effective but that shouldn't really matter because it should be better for the for the in induced inducing power around there you know the, in the other coils that's um, a strange way of explaining that I'm sorry but if anyone's got any uh, thoughts about why the current coming out of this well it's we know why the current coming out is so low but we can't effectively power anything off that you know and is that actually even is that tiny tiny amperage gonna do anything for charging that battery you know is it even enough to like do anything I don't know you need a bigger bigger alternator bigger generators more more power alright well thanks for watching that's just a bit of information for you um, I'm out Cheers.